Welcome, stranger. Silver here, and we are continuing our journey in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Here goes! Still doing Goku episode battles. Through his fight with Majin Buu, Goku was revived. He now spent his days training so he can get even stronger. However, he is soon to encounter a new and even more powerful enemy. While Goku is training, the God of Destruction Lord Beerus shows up to Bulma's birthday party, apparently in search of a Super Saiyan God. No one stands a chance against Beerus, who has the power to destroy everything. With the help of his family and friends, Goku awakens as a Super Saiyan God and takes Earth Fate in his hands as he steps up to the plate against Beerus. Let's go, Lord Beerus, you and me! But if I win, you have to leave this planet untouched, deal? Very well, I accept your terms. But know this, none in this universe can hope to match the power of Beerus the Destroyer. Okay. I'm not done yet. Oh. Is he going to destroy me? Yeah. <laughs> Goku has been beaten down, but he's not out yet. Holding on tight to his will to fight, he rises to face Beerus once more. Did the Super Saiyan God thing work? I don't know. It sure seemed like it did. Damn it. But I can't sense my dad's energy at all. Believe it or not, that's good news. The energy that radiates from a god cannot be detected by mere mortals. Here we go! Think you can keep up? How can I? Alright, let's go! Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. But that's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Yeah. power goes higher and higher. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> What do you say we continue this fight on equal footing? God to God. Sounds good to me. Damn it. I'm scratching How the do surface I dodge of this, this new power. Here we go. My power goes higher and higher. Probably shouldn't do this. But oh well. Yeah, I hit. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, Goku, charge up. You can do this, Goku. Here we go. Where is the Lord Beerus? But what about you, Beerus? I can tell you're holding something back. Figured that out, did you? <laughs> well, I had a feeling. But you don't have to hold yourself back for my sake, Lord Beerus. I'm not gonna get any stronger unless you face me with everything you've got. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, I hit. Nice. Are you always this talkative? You yes. just don't get it. Okay. Although Goku did not come out on top, his impressive attempt left an impression. Beerus and his companion leave without destroying the Earth. In short while after, Vegeta and Goku train with Whis, Beerus' attendant who is also a teacher. Both awaken their Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan forms and its incredible power. 
However, back on Earth, Frieza has been resurrected by the Dragon Balls and brings an army to Earth to take revenge on Goku. Gohan tries to stop Frieza, but he's no match for Frieza's new and improved strength. By the time Bulma SOS reaches out Goku and Vegeta, Piccolo is already dead and things aren't looking much better for Gohan. However, Earth is far too distant from the planet where his father is for Gohan to sense any key, meaning he cannot travel via instant transmission. But just as all seems lost, Gohan summons the last of his strength to enhance his key and Goku is finally able to sense him. Using instant transmission, he goes to face Frieza once again. Hey, Vegeta! Sorry, but I've gotta run! Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want, as usual. It occurs to me. I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. My new power, strength enough to hold the universe by its throat. It was you who gave it to me. Losing to you, to a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough! Get to the point! Ha! Ah, impatient as ever. Very well. As a token of my gratitude, I will destroy you first. Would you mind piping down? <laughs> I knew it! You've been holding something back, haven't you? That's well deduced for a simpleton. I've held back just like you. Then let's both go all in. No tricks, no reserves. Damn it. Wait, I did All right, transform. now it's your turn. Let's see this new power of yours. Care to cut to the chase, do we? Very well, then I won't hold anything back either. Now brace yourself! Oh, come on. Behold my newfound evolution! I know gold's a bit gauche, but I wanted to ensure you grasp my new position atop the pecking order. Ooh. Oh, look at Kamehameha. And for the sake of your feeble mind, let's keep the name simple as well. We'll call this Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza? Farewell, Goku. I can say it's been a pleasure. I'm not normally one for preemptive goodbyes, but there is a very real possibility that I kill you instantly, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. You've always been smug, Freezer. But I guess you've earned it this time. <laughs> Break through the limit! This fight takes so much concentration. What the? Easiest strategy. Charge up, hit few punches, hit ultimate. Works mostly every time. Wait. It's my turn. What the hell? I almost beat him. But probably this is the great way so i don't have to try it once more because this is canon goku switches with vegeta but frieza sizes the opening and destroys earth completely we saves goku and his friends but the rest of earth is annihilated yet with this power to turn back time we are able to go back and defeat frieza However, immediately after powering up, Goku and Vegeta find themselves facing a strong enemy once more. 
This is only the beginning. <sighs> Wait a second. Here goes! Wasn't the tournament between Universe 6 and 7 before Future Chunks? Frieza is defeated, Beerus twin brother Champa appears and Goku and his friends get caught up in argument between the two brothers. They then learn that there are a total of 12 universes with theirs called Universe 7. Moreover, there is also apparently exists a Super Dragon Boss in Universe 6, Champa's home, as well as Universe 7. Super Dragon Balls can be used to summon Super Shenron who possesses ability to grant any wish completely free of all restrictions. It is these Dragon Balls that are put up as a prize for a new tournament that will be held, the Tournament of Destroyers, at the end of many ferociously fought matches Goku and the others. Oh. After being noticed by a powerful being, it is decided that Goku and his friends shall meet with the ruler of all the universes, Zeno. And it is the meeting which changes everything. Shortly after this, Trunks arrive in Time Machine from the future, asking Goku and the others for their help. Sorry I swung at you without any warning, Goku. For a second there, I thought you were someone else. Nah, you were just rattled. Don't worry about it. So tell us, who is this guy? Would you believe me if I said he called himself Goku? What? Me? He wears dark clothes instead of your orange ones, so we started calling him Goku Black. I'll never forget the day he showed up. He said he was going to exterminate the human race. He said he was doing it in the name of justice. I struggled against him for a year after that. But by that point, there were hardly any survivors left on Earth. Then, he tracked down Mom just before I came here. Wait a sec. My future self also wrote a message specifically for me. She wanted us to fix the machine and return with you. That means she wants me to go there and beat Kakarot myself. <laughs> Come on, Vegeta, it's not me. It must be someone who just looks like me. Hey, Trunks, help me gauge how strong this guy is. Fight me for a while so you can compare my strength to him. Sure. In order to understand the strength of his double gainer, Imposter Goku fights with Trunks to see how powerful he really is. The two of them go elsewhere to begin their sparring, however an unexpected visitor soon joins them. <laughs> Jump into Super Saiyan 2, right? I figured this out after you left. I call it... That's incredible! I wouldn't expect anything less from you. All right. <laughs> Goku Black! Oh, now I see. No wonder I couldn't find you. <laughs> Damn it. And the destroyer, Beerus. Wow, you really do look alike, huh? How are you, Goku? You're looking quite well. So, we're about to watch Goku versus Goku. It's shaping up to be a fascinating day. Damn it. Damn it. than that, right? Hm. I'm flattered you rate me so highly. But I'm getting too much out of this to rush. Where did you go? And here we go! <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Excellent, Goku. 
You can hurt me as much as you want. The pain will only make me stronger. Uh, okay. That's a pretty creepy thing to say. and space-time must be dissipating. It's going back to normal. Hmm. The distortion in space-time from which Goku Black emerged swallows him up and returns the world of the future. Whis, Beerus attendant, notices that Goku Black was wearing the Supreme Kai's time ring. He also informs Goku that there exists an individual in the Universe 10 with the same key as Black, so we travel together to find that individual. Upon arriving they find a combat uh, servant named Zamasu. Who is slated to become a Supreme Kai, he doesn't indeed have the same key as Goku Black. However, it is Zamasu's first time meeting Goku and he's completely unaware of time rings that can surprise the limitations of time and space. Uh, it would be your utmost pleasure to please engage in fisticuffs with me, your kindness, sir! Fisticuffs? Goku invites Zamasu to fight, he can witness his true power. All right, let's give it a go. You know, damn it, I haven't fought a god since Lord Beerus. You fought a destroyer. I'm not done yet. Here we go. Luis, did you feel that? Indeed. Wait, is that Black's energy? But it was awfully close. Here we go! This ultimate looks amazing. Just like that, we won. <laughs> you know, for just a plain old Kai, you're pretty strong. Hmm. Between the antisocial psyche that's clearly lurking within him and the energy that he's projected outward, I'd say our suspicions that Zamasu is black have been circumstantially corroborated. Then maybe I should just dispense with him now while I can. Hmm? You guys sure about this? You know, he really didn't seem like such a bad guy to me. That's because you're too trusting of people. The energy I felt was similar, but it wasn't exactly the same as black. It seems there are more mysteries to solve. While Goku, Beerus and Whis did meet Zamasu and confirm he indeed has a key similar to Black's, they left unable to prove that Zamasu is definitely Black. Back on Earth, Bulma and others are hot at work repairing the time machine when a message arrives from fearsome Zeno, requesting they visit him. Goku is accompanied by Supreme Kai and the others. If you do anything that Grand Zeno finds insulting, he could easily erase you, me, this entire reality from existence. Don't forget that. One more thing, Whis. If Grand Zeno does lash out, make sure it's not its Supreme Kai. I need him protected at all costs. 
Goku is surprised to hear that concern in Beerus voice, but he nevertheless joins together with Whis, Beerus and Supreme Kai. Whis soon divulges to Goku that if Supreme Kai dies, the destroyer of that universe, Beerus, will die too. Beerus is clearly flustered by Whis's words, but there is no time to confront him. Goku and Whis use the Supreme Kai ability to set off to the palace. They are greeted by a Grand Minister who takes them to Zeno. As they walk, Whis mentions that even he would not hold a candle to Grand Minister. What's up? I mean, good day and greetings, so what's going on with you? I'm not asking much. I just want a friend, you see. You're not like most people. You're fun. I want you to be my friend, Ogie Dogi. We can do that, I guess, but is that the only... Is that a problem? <laughs> of course not, Grand Zeno. Goku would feel privileged to be your friend and provide you unsurpassed joy. You be quiet. I'm sorry, Zeno, but actually now's a bad time. There's something I've got to take care of, but when it's done, we can play, I swear! So once you're done with your busy thing, you'll play with me? Sure! And if you want, I can bring somebody else who'd be even more fun to play with, too. So the next time, you won't have to wait on me. Really? Okay, it's a date. Bye-bye, <sighs> Goku. As proof of Goku and Zeno blossoming friendship, Zeno gives Goku a button that can summon him simply by pressing it. The three visitors then board the time machine and head for the world of the future. Go on, Goku! Rejoice! You know, I don't know what you're rambling... Influenced by Goku, Goku Black evolves into Super Saiyan Rose and stands in their way. Father! Despite Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta wielding God Key, he still falls at Super Saiyan Rose Black's hands. Your mind is too small. Your mind is incapable of understanding the grandeur of my success and the glory of my cause. It's like staring into the sun. Can you see it? The vast beauty of my being overwhelms you. For I am a breed apart and divine. Ooh. Here we go! Foolish! Break through! The limit! The limit. Ha, me, ha, me. Ha. Damn it. Huh. No. So much damage. Makes me the strongest. Let's go. Break through the limit. Me. Me. I like how the armor is always breaking. Damn it. I'm not done yet. Break through the limit. That's enough. Zamasu. Another one? I thought you were decent, but you're scheming with black. Scheming? Such a negative word. We are more like comrades on a righteous crusade. Break through the limit! Ok. 
Okay, two versus one is gonna be a bit tough. But I think I can beat them. My wait is almost over. Soon the world I've been dreaming of for so long will be made manifest. A truly just and perfect utopian existence. Mortals are unnecessary. And more than that, unwelcome in my paradise. I hate to burst your bubble, but there's no way I'm letting you two get what you want. Goku, this time I'll oh, fight. So it's not two and one. So Damn it. I am not alone. No, 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 no. I could use an extra hand. Yes. Damn it. Come now. I can't continue. dodge anything. Over there, so that's where you are. We fight as one now. Shall we bring this to a close? It's over! Ooh, same attack he beat How Frieza. How disappointing you ungrateful and barbaric creatures are! The mm. gods gave you minds capable of true wisdom. Yet you wasted on self-interest and war. I wonder how many battles will this arc have? How can you talk about the values of mortals after everything you've done to my final flat? You think you got him? What? I've taken godhood to a new level. Divinity made perfect. With a body that befits a Kai. What? I can already tell I'm going to be sleeping soundly tonight. This is your end. A Saiyan. Who's there? Vegeta uses the last of his strength to rescue Goku and the others who are able to return to their own world. The Supreme Kai comes to Goku and the others with the message that Zemasu is looking for Goku as well as the Super Dragon Balls. Upon hearing that, we speculate that Zemasu of the future will create Goku Black with Super Dragon Balls and make himself immortal. It will be a year until the Super Dragon Balls can be used again. Could Zamasu use Supreme Kai's time ring to solve such a problem? Zamasu is only an apprentice and does not possess a time ring. However, he may steal one from Supreme Kai of Universe 10. If that is the plan, then the life of Supreme Kai is at risk. Beerus and the others immediately head to Universe 10. When they arrive, they find Zamasu just as he is about to murder the Supreme Kai. Using the power of Hakai, Beerus wipes Zamasu from existence. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Beerus informs them that the god killing another god will inevitably result a change in Spence's time continuum. Trusting his words, they travel to the future to see what difference they have made. My world didn't change. I yep. knew it. Beerus couldn't fix this. Not even the act of a god made a difference. And now we face a mass and Goku Black once more. We know the truth! All the terrible things you've done! We know you used the Super Dragon Balls to get your power! You think I'm a copy? Oh, you're wrong. This is Goku's actual body, down to the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. I took the Time Ring and found the Super Dragon Balls. Then, with my first wish to the dragon, I switched bodies with you, Goku. Okay, so if you're telling us you're Zamasu, then who's this guy who actually looks like him? From your world's perspective, I'm the Zamasu from this world. A 
and I work for justice with the Zamasu from the past. You haven't worked it out yet, Goku? I'm none other than the Kai once called Zamasu, the god defeated by a mere mortal, you. But how can that be? I saw Beerus destroy you. He said you'd be gone. Old Beerus clearly doesn't understand the full beauty of this time ring. Wearing it protects me. Not thanks to the time ring, I could empower my new ally without waiting at all. We collected the Super Dragon Balls in the future, and wished again. You were willing to kill your Supreme Kai just to get that ring? Yes. Then we had to make sure no one would undo our accomplishments later. So we found the Super Dragon Balls once more, and shattered them. After that, we had to keep the other gods from interfering here. I used your strength to kill every other Kai in this multiverse. That means, in this timeline, there are no more gods who can stop us. We have all the power. The, the two, two of us alone. alone! This destruction mm. was unfortunate, but necessary to achieve our virtuous goal. This... Mortals are a foolish and ugly. We've already cleansed a great number of planets of their repulsive mortal blight. Your filthy kind is worst of all. How many times have conflicts nearly destroyed this planet and threatened to spread across the unit? Because you are the ugliest, we are sentencing you to the heaviest punishment. A despair and terror that befits your wicked crime. And none of you will escape it. This is it, Saiyans. For the sake of our most glorious project, you will die today. Are you so sure about it? I'm not gonna give up so easily. Cannot keep up with me! Damn it. Damn it. What should I do? So Let me charge up. Damn it. I am not alone. I could use an extra hand, yes. No, please, no. <laughs> Come on. Come now, for the plan continues. It's fate. I've been keeping this one a secret. I thought for sure you would have asked by now. Aren't you concerned about your family? My family? Like when this one begins such a gripping tale. After I collected the it, Super Dragon Ball and switched the body my butt. I went to Earth to check, to make sure we had really switched. And there I am. You were shocked to find yourself in my body. Your family was terrified. Damn you! What about Chi Chi? And Goten! Oh, sure, you can guess that much, Goku. You monster! You pay for that! You took my body! You took my life! And then you even killed Chi Chi and Goten! Thank you, Goku. Your anger feels simply incredible. Now, you face my blade. Ooh, that was tough. <laughs> Goku and the others have been no match for Goku Black and Zamasu. 
and are nursing serious injuries. Thanks to Trank's help in buying them time, we are able to return in time machine. Just how are these two to be defeated? Goku and his friends are backed into the corner, but Piccolo has the idea that Master Roshi may be able to help. After learning the evil containment wave, Goku receives a jar from Master Roshi and goes straight to where Trunks and the others are. Immediately he runs into Goku Black and Zamasu, who destroy the time machine right before his very eyes. There will be no more retreating. Now you're trapped here. So this world will be the last you ever see. For a god, you're surprisingly confused. This isn't going to be our final resting place, it's going to be yours! We were even going to bring you a casket, but we couldn't find one small enough. Our master Goasu and the other Kais were foolish enough to believe mortals could be entrusted with intellect. So, Kakarot, where are you keeping that jar? Oh crap! It was still in the time machine when they blew it up! How could you be that stupid? What's done is done. I'd rather win with our fist than some magic trick anyway. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. Can we really win this? Last time they kicked my butt. You better keep your focus on me! Mortals do not tell gods what to do! For a pure and beautiful world. Damn it. You will fall. Evil shall no longer exist. I'm going all out. Shall we be still close? Break through the limit. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. <sighs> what? No. This now just charge, start. Goku. I'm channeling my divine rage into power. I have yeah. forged a new instrument with which to destroy you. This side will carve a reminder into your mortal flesh of the strength of my divine wrath. <laughs> just as we foresaw. Fighting this formidable Saiyan Blight has carried us both to new heights. You can do this, Goku. Come on. Me. Me. This proves our transformative power. Our destiny is to cast judgment upon all creation. Hold it! <laughs> What's the matter, mortals? Relax! Don't be afraid. Oops. I thought you Saiyans loved fighting the strongest. You Break through the limit! Me! Me! Father! Goku! Trunks! You okay? He's weak. Trunks must have done something. <sighs> disgrace yourself against those mortals. We were barely separated. What went wrong? It seems many of our assumptions about the mortals were badly mistaken. You pathetic, lowly mortals. You before our radiance! This game is over! You shall kneel before our radiance. Justice together! Thus begins a new world. Show your reverence and bow down before our splendor. Worship me and give praise unto me. Me the beast. The sublime, me, the invincible, the almighty and divine. All hail, Somerset. Ah! Trump, 
Keep Bulma safe. Right. Too many. Pan and missing one fight. It's a great honor to fall at the hands of a god, is it not? I've done something oh, right. Wrong. The limit. Let's hope this hits. Vegeta, are you all right? Yeah, we're a little banged up, but I think we're okay, at least for now. After fusing, he now possesses indestructibility and Saiyan strength. How can you surpass that? Who knows? But no matter what, I will make him pay for everything he's done. We come come all on. the way, Vegeta. I don't care about the odds. We won't stop until he's defeated. Me. This fight is way too long. What? No. Goku. I just hope I didn't beat him way too early. Seems like I did. Damn it. Goku and his friends' bitter struggle comes to an end. They have defeated the fused Zemasu. Bulma rushes to where Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks wait exhausted. Finally, they have done it. At long last, the future for Trunks and his friends is finally a peaceful one. I should have waited, damn it. Well, I think that's it for today, guys. If you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!